Hi everyone, and welcome back to the Colorado LTAP Tailgate Talk. Today we're going to be talking about brain injury prevention. Here's why we're talking about it. It is NL TAPA Brain Injury Prevention Month. Workers in any industry who are exposed to hazards that can cause traumatic brain injury. Most accidents are entirely preventable. When you are working in areas where there are overhead hazards, you wear a hard hat. That's a given for most of us. We know there are different hard hats for different types of protection. Your hard hat should be clean and free of cracks or chips. To see the cracks, you need to be able to see the whole hard hat. So don't put your stickers on it. Save those for your lunchbox. But we're talking about head injuries in general. And there are many other ways a person can sustain a traumatic brain injury on the job. The most common causes of workplace brain injuries are falls, being struck by or against an object, and motor vehicle collisions. A concussion may or may not involve a loss of consciousness. You do not have to black out or be knocked out to experience a concussion. Slips, trips, and falls on the job top the list. The most common causes are human factors. Poor housekeeping is the easiest to fix. Clean up the clutter around the shop and in your work area. Keep away from wet or slippery surfaces, and if you can't, be prepared to walk on them with the proper shoes or boots. Yak tracks or some type of traction on your boots are best for snow and ice covered surfaces. Poor lighting is another easy fix. Use flashlights if necessary or replace all burnt out bulbs. Use caution and look where you're going when going upstairs. Remove objects that may be on stairs before attempting to go up. Use three points of contact when ascending a ladder. Make sure the ladder is in good repair, has all the rungs, and never climb to the last rung on a ladder. So what are the other human factors that make up over 50% of the slips, trips, and falls at work? Not being aware of your surroundings, taking shortcuts, texting, and other distractions, earbuds, or headphones. Head injuries are incredibly unforgiving when you don't use the helmet properly and every time you risk a life-altering injury. Remember, it's not just your life that is altered if you receive a brain injury. Your family, your co-workers, your friends, and anyone you care about will be affected. While we're talking about improper use of hard hats, let's add tools or equipment. If a worker fails to handle any tool or equipment properly and in a safe manner, it may lead to an accident that may cause damage or injury. Make sure equipment users are trained and the equipment is in good working condition before operating. Always use three points of contact to enter and exit equipment. This means you can't carry all your tools and lunchbox extra clothes and etc while you're trying to get into the truck. Put them in first, then use three points of contact to get in. Horseplay is not allowed. No one wants to explain how a co-worker received a brain injury due to a joke or horseplay. It would be bad enough to have to let a wife, mother, father, know that their loved one has a brain injury from an accident, but to tell them it was the result of a joke is almost cruel. Breaking the rules intentionally for any reason is not allowed anywhere. Symptoms of a concussion or brain injury include an obvious wound to the head, unconscious or altered level of consciousness, dilated pupils or uneven dilation of pupils, spinal fluid coming from the ears and nose, some head injuries do not show obvious symptoms immediately. If you or a co-worker is hit in the head or has an injury to the head, seek attention right away. Watch for the symptoms of consciousness. How to say stay safe. 
Keep the workplace full of clutter and debris. Communicate all known hazards to all workers on the site. Follow all PPE requirements. Keep your head on a swivel and be aware of your changing surroundings at all times. Motorcycle safety. Motorcycles are the most dangerous kind of transportation on the road. On our nation's highway, in 2019, 5,014 motorcyclists were killed and 84,000 were injured. According to the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, helmets saved the lives of 1,870 motorcyclists in 2017, the most recent year for which data is available. Approximately 750 more lives could be saved in all states if all motorcyclists had worn helmets. For employees who ride, wear a helmet, not because you may die, but because you may survive, in which case you'll want your brain intact. A helmet will not provide any protection if it's not worn. For maintainers, be aware of road surface conditions, potholes, sand pockets, steep slopes, and soft shoulders that can cause a motorcycle or even a bicycle to lose control and crash. So the key points. Our head injuries are preventable. Proper head protection is required where overhead hazards exist. Most common cause of brain injury at work is slips, trips, and falls. Good housekeeping can pre prevent most head injuries. Motorcycle helmets prevent deaths and injuries when worn. The information from today's tailgate talk can be found at the NL TAPA webpage and the impacttest.com head injury page. Thank you for attending the Colorado LTAP Tailgate Talk. I hope you found the brain injury safety topic helpful and that you incorporate it into your daily routine. These are preventable injuries and taking the steps to protect your head is all up to you.